Hello and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. So, about a year ago, I don't I don't know if last year was when they started doing it or if they did it a couple years ago and they the first time I noticed it was last year, but regardless, um Bojangles has brought back their pimento cheese. And so I did a review, it was one of my first ever reviews, um interesting enough and I was not impressed something just was lacking in that pimento cheese and so I'm not gonna try it again y'all can go reference that video just look up pimento cheese Cajun biscuit I think is what it was and you know put my account put redneck snack and food and uh, you'll find that video but I really was not impressed by it and I was excited to try it. I really was. But it just it was underwhelming. And so they brought that brought it back because apparently people liked it. And they did one better and they made a sauce out of it. Maybe they've improved the pimento cheese. I don't know. But I'm here to review the French fries and the uh, mac and cheese um, that they have with the sauce. And so I'll get to since the fries, you know, are just fries, I'll get to get the flavor of the sauce um, before I dive into the mac and cheese because I'm sure they've got regular cheese for that too in the mac and cheese. And so I'm excited for this. I'm not gonna let what happened last year. I'm not gonna let it. Uh, I'm not gonna let it uh, hurt me. You know, affect me. Um, I'm not gonna let it hurt these things. I'm gonna give it a chance. And if I like it, I may just come back and get the Chicken Supremes or the home-style home chicken tenders. By the way, if y'all know what the difference is, tell me before I have to go look it up. I might come back and I might get it with that uh, pimento cheese dipping sauce. So yeah, exciting things going on at Bojangles. Every fast food restaurant is starting to get some exciting things going on. So I'm doing my best to get a lot of reviews racked up. And uh, yeah, so... What I'll go ahead and say is, please go give this video a like, a comment, and share it. You know, more shares, more views, more people. Um, I would love to have more fans. And speaking of that, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that. You know, I need need your support. Watch my videos every single day if you can. And then, I would love for y'all to check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food. Um, i got a lot of interesting posts that go up there that are... Um, exclusive to that instagram you know a lot of non-review material a lot of local eateries a lot of good things um so yeah um i think that's about it for um the random talking now it's on to less and i think i'm gonna remove it so i have it set up like that but I'll remove the mac and cheese. I'll show y'all that later. Just teasing y'all a bit. But here's the french fries. And so. I think I might just. You know. Do what the typical person does. And just grab the fry by the non cheesy end. So you know. Let's let's get to trying this out folks. Mmm. So far, I don't think I'm overly impressed. Reason being is the sauce is a, it tastes like it's just been sitting around. But it's not bad. Um, I can't tell if it's the fry season that's making it taste good or. The pimento cheese tastes good. I, I mean, to me, it doesn't taste much different than a spicy cheese sauce. But they really should warn, and I forgot water, but they really should warn the faint at heart. Um, the elderly because this has a little bit of spice maybe they're just hoping that since we're still facing COVID 
Good the hell or you just stay home. But yeah, these have a little bit of a kick to them. Um, I will say, I don't think they've changed the ingredients for their pimento cheese. To me, it feels like, the texture feels more like gravy, you know? And I like gravy, but this is not supposed to be gravy. Um, pimento cheese is a deer the loved sauce. Not sauce, but it's a dearly loved cheese confection in the south. In the southern United States. I just don't think Bojangles makes it live up to what it should be. Is this good? Granite? Yeah, not bad. Is it what I think about pimento cheese every day? No. I think these last couple bites have been really good though. So I'm not gonna discredit it fully. But I will say I have hard a hard time thinking about this. I've been that fabulous cheese spread. That I hold so closely to my heart. It's getting back to the the odd taste again. I don't know. You can see why people use a utensil. Um, I wasn't planning for this video to be that long, but I'm taking my time. I apologize. Hmm. Overall, it's okay. It's nothing I would write home about. But I reckon the fries and their seasoning make that combination. I would say that's a seven. It's decent, but you know, I guess I would recommend it. But I don't, I don't know. I just feel weird about it. So now I got mac and cheese. I'm trying to mix it in. I think they just put it on top. So I want to get the full effect here. Um, but yeah, let's see what. The mac and cheese does. Oh, and here's what it looks like. I kind of mixed it in. Should have shown y'all before I mixed it, but maybe the maybe the thumbnail will do it justice. I don't know what it'll look like. Um, but anyways, not bad I think you can slightly tell the difference you know the spice definitely um, changes it up a bit but I wouldn't say I'm overly impressed by this either um, I don't know I mean, it's enjoyable mac and cheese. It's not terrible. But honestly, I think it's more noticeable with the fries. And, uh... It feels kind of pointless. In my opinion. And then a hint of spice. And a little bit of pinto cheese taste. So, what do I have to say about this one? I'm going to give it a six. You, you got better bets with the fries here. 
um, stick with the uh, regular mac and cheese, I would say. Because for the most part, you're not going to taste tomato cheese. Um, I do have some on the lid. I'll try. Get my last opinion on this. Well, I will say two things. Two big problems. Problem number one. That stuff was cold. That sauce right there, and I don't know if it's meant to be cold or not, but that was cold. It did not become warm or hot until you had warm or hot fries or mac and cheese. I feel like the sauce should be kind of warm if you're going to dump it on things that are hot. My opinion. Number two, when I got the little spoonful from the top of the lid, all I could taste was spice. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Tomato cheese is not a spread where it's primarily spice. Does it have a little bit of a kick? Yeah, somewhat. Most pomelo cheeses are pretty mild, unless you get a sp one that's particularly made spicy. So that's the problem I have, is that the fact that I order this pimento cheese and it's spicy. I don't, I don't get a lot of pimento cheese flavor. I get spice, and that's a problem, folks. So, I wouldn't give the sauce a very high rating on its own. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, to me, it just wasn't all that. And it, and it reflects the fact that last year their pimento cheese, when I tried it, was not all that. It wasn't accurate. So, they got some work to do here, folks. Um, I don't know. Maybe people like this. Maybe they like that it's not really pimento cheese and it's something else. I don't know. But it is something. And if y'all want something different, then I guess you could try this pimento cheese sauce. But it is really a little over glorified, if you want my opinion. So seven for the fries, a six for the mac and cheese. And to me, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the sauce a four. Because I would highly recommend changes. I just don't think it's pimento cheese. It's more like a cheese sauce with spice. Um, so, I don't know. I think I got some hate on my opinion last year. Um, but, you know, I'm sticking with it. That's just what I do. I stick with my opinion and I don't let others shut me up. Because I'm going to say what I think. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's what I got. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope y'all have a good day. I'll see y'all around.